What's up and good morning guys. How are you? We are back. We're back from from everything and today we got a lot of work to do. So yesterday we knocked out tons and tons of production. Uh, we knocked out some of our oldest you know fab orders something that the stuff that requires you know six weeks three weeks all that stuff is done so now today my focus is pretty much just to start completing all of our show setups we have a lot and a lot of show setups that we gotta complete and work on uh, there's a lot of tanks that gotta be welded up a lot of tubing that has to be done so that's what today's goal is my goal today is nothing but show setups. speaking of show setups here's a show and go setup this one is a two pump gravity fed so we got our gravity fed pumps here so the way easiest way to picture this for you guys that are still learning on this is gonna be this would be like our left side left is always left right is always right and we're doing gravity fed so these are the actual tanks that feed this pump but we put it in line with the main piston in the front just to give it you know more of a aesthetically pleasing look so we have everything uh, shifted over Yes, guys, the oil will feed. It's called gravity feed. So I know it's always a question. People always express their concerns. We have a piston going to the nose here. So it's one of our Hoppos pistons, half inch port, dual 3 8 side returns. Uh, we did dual 3 8 Stucci check valves and dual uh, Stucci check valves on the top as well. We're running these all out on our zigzag dumps and also our zigzag slowdowns here. So uh, right now, the guys already got this somewhat mocked together and it's it's somewhat tight. I gotta come through and do the final fitment on the slowdowns and the dumps. So they are slightly crooked, so we're gonna adjust that today. I just started tightening this up right now when I realized, hey, I need a tripod. I need to get my tripod so I can start filming for you guys. And go and try to look for my tripod. I'm going crazy over here. I'm getting mad at the guys like, who took my, where's my tripod? Sometimes these guys, put stuff away too good to the point where it's hidden and I don't know where it's at. So I went asking everyone and well, supposedly somebody took my tripod without asking. And well, I wanted to film all this today for you guys. I had this whole video planned out for you. And well, my tripod's gone. I always leave a shop tripod here and now it's missing. All right, anyways, there's my rant for the day. Don't take stuff that's not yours. You're considered a thief if you do. Anyways, back to the setup here. We got tons of work, tons of tubing we gotta do on this guy. This is gonna be our main one. This is our main focus for today. I'm gonna jump on this one. And tubing wise, I'm estimating right around two and a half hours on this guy. And then from here, I got some other ones to jump on. It is still bright and early right now, so we have plenty of time today. My goal is to knock out at least three to four show setups today. Built, uh, and all of them are in various stages that have to be delivered to customers, so here we go. Guess what? We found the thief. Him. Stole my freaking tripod to use it at home for homework. This is a filming tripod. Come on. Come on. Huh? God. People are just trying to work here. That's it. That's it. We found the thief. We found the thief. He brought back the tripod. Right, so we have managed to get feed tubing done both feeds are done and also slow down returns into the gravity fed setup here now we'll be working on getting the returns for each side of the front pump those are going to be what's next we got everything all squared up lined up uh, trying to mess around with a few things here because of the angle of this pump trying to get this pump tilt up so that way we can still get max amount of oil and still have the piston function in here so Working on that right now. So far, everything's looking really good. There's a few things that we do have to add on here, but I'm gonna get everything tubed first and then we'll do all those additions after the fact. But so far, our zigzag dumps, our zigzag slowdowns, our nice tank plugs, 
everything looks really good. It's really hard to capture what this looks like right now. I got fingerprints all over it, but it's really hard to capture what this looks like because of the, the chrome. It's funny because all the lighting that coming in through here just reflects off of it. But even the backside, even the backside looks good. Again, don't mind the fingerprints. We're in the building stage right now. Everything will get wiped up and cleaned up after the fact. So we're chugging away on this one, but we do, we are running short on time right now. I put away about two and a half, three hours just to finish this one up right now. We're pushing that two hour mark right now. So I'm gonna be uh, having to, to get this guy buttoned up pretty soon, cause and then we got a few more projects to work on. Here's another setup that is actually being worked on right now. We're doing some updates on this one and hopefully this one will be out the door later on today. This one we're doing um, single piston, so similar to the one that I just showed you guys on the 57, two gravity fed pumps. Or we're gonna be running two tanks per gravity fed to fill up the gapping in here. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we do obviously has to look cosmetically pleasing and uh, eye appealing as well. So this one is almost done. We're doing some changes on the caps. We just uh, did a custom program for some brackets. All this will be all raw, mocked up, and then delivered to the customer. We're also working on another one here. And this one right here is pretty much all buttoned up and done already. So this one we don't have to worry about too much. It's really just uh, final pictures and videos. Then we're working on another one right here that just got assembled this morning. And then we'll show you guys the two other ones that are being worked on as well. We got this one going out to homies. So this one's uh, pretty much almost, actually this one is done, right? Yeah, that one is done. It's all done. So this one's all done. I welded up the tanks yesterday. The guys assembled the pumps. We did the base end real quick. This one was a pretty simple job, uh, but we were just trying to toss it in between all the other ones. And then on top of that, we have another one that has to go out. So this one, we're, we're playing with ideas and concepts on this one. Uh, we like the idea of this base end with this angle instead of it being at a flat, like a 90, uh, having like a little 45 to it. So this one was pretty cool, but we're not sure the route we're gonna go on this one yet. And we don't really want to spend too much time on focusing on this one when we got to finish all the other ones still. So we're going to knock that one out that's back there and knock that one out that's right here. This one's already done. That one's already done. And once those two are knocked out, we're going to jump onto this one. You can tell we are busy, super busy. The guys are uh, packing away on orders right now as well. And uh, now I got to get back to tubing. We got lots of tubing to do. Tubing's all done. We're gonna have to send these out for chrome. See how this has a little wiggle to it right here? We're gonna build a bracket. I already have a riser bracket here to get that angle, but we're gonna build another bracket here and that way it supports this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to the back like this one is, um, but we'll figure that part out right now. I'm thinking, ideally I'd love to go into here, but I, this is already chrome, so yeah, we'll see. But. I mean, I could always just drill and tap into this backing plate. It's only gonna take small bolts. We'll figure that part out right now. But ideally, I'd like to have something that matches this here. So that's the next step to get this bracket all built up. And we're gonna head to the computer right now and get that program. I don't know why, I was kind of dreading tubing this one, but it was literally like the simplest tubing. It was super easy, so. Now I'm gonna grab my USB and get programming real quick. We'll do a little bracket and do some test bends and get it cut up and see how it works. Just added in the last bracket, drilled and tapped the piston backing plate. Luckily that guy is solid, so I was able to get some uh, 10 30 second bolts through here, keep them all matching the same size. So this guy's in, we've got some uh, quarter 20s in this bottom side right here. You see all the shavings. All I did was just tape everything off, taped it off all nice, drilled it, drilled it with a small, uh, wait, where's my small one? Right here. Drove with a small one and uh, I marked it with tape so I knew exactly where to stop so both of them were exactly the same. So this is what we did and then just tapped it, tapped it, boom. Now this whole thing, like it's, before I would hit this and it would kind of wiggle. So now I can literally grab the whole setup from it. So nice and sturdy, nice and solid, which that means all I gotta do is blow off all these shavings clean it all up, wipe it up, get these fingerprints off, 
and at that point we are officially done with the setup then we move on to the four that are sitting right over there behind me which aj's been working on one of them uh we are lacking a few bolts here and there so we're gonna make work with what we have we have bolts already on order so the rest of the stuff will all be here tomorrow so making good progress one down i went past my time frame i gave myself like two and a half three hours on this I pushed into about three hours, 20 minutes. So not too bad. And now we gotta make our way to the other ones to get those done. That way we can stay on track for today and stay as efficient and as productive as possible. Setup number two is all complete now. You guys just saw in that time lapse right there. Uh, myself and AJ, we jumped on this setup. This setup is all done, mocked together, ready to go. This one is a setup that was actually here right before Super Show, and the customer decided they wanted to add a little bit more to it. So, well, we added more to it, and he also got some of our new parts that actually haven't even really posted. I posted a little sneak peeks on Instagram, but not like full, like full blown pictures or videos of these. So these are our new ones, and we're using them right now. Um, as a single slowdown, but you guys will see the difference. So this is one of our new slowdowns that we just came out with. It actually, technically, it's not even released yet. So there's a few changes that we made in it. We made these to where they're a lot more fine adjustment. So there's a smaller needle valve in it. It's also a dual slowdown. So you can come in with two pressures, one out on the backside. All sides are fully, fully machined and detailed. So we're doing this one. This is like a perfect example of how this could work is single pressure in to the single side here and dual out to each side here on you know center pressure blocks is a great way to do it but we also want to use it on the the back pumps too so instead of just not using it using a regular slowdown we actually just plugged one and then it actually just offsets our fitting for us which actually gives us more clearance on tubing so it actually works out perfect for this case too uh, unfortunately these are not available yet to the public, but soon. That one's already all completed. You guys already know that. We just went through and double checked all this one. Everything's ready to go on it. So that completes three setups for today. This is all done. Uh, actually, that completes four setups for today because that one's also done. So those are four that are done leaving today. We're gonna jump on the next one, which is gonna be a four pump. I'm in the process of uh, designing the stand up for this one, which this stand is gonna be a little more complicated uh, this is for our good buddy at uh, snk steve for one of his personal cars and i had an idea to match the shape along with some of his patterns on his car because he's a painter so that means if i do that he would actually paint that pattern and it look the same in the car and in the trunk so uh, i'm trying to get some uh some renderings done on this one as far as getting his patterns and matching it up to what we're doing and make sure it's the right angles and stuff there's a lot that goes into these setups i know a lot of you guys don't see it but i want to show you guys the process of us building all this stuff lots of time uh, lots of effort so now we're gonna jump on this next one this next one is steve's like i said and we're working on the stand so we knocked out four setups today and i'm gonna work on the fifth one right now if i get the base stand designed out on that one before 5 30 or 5 o'clock today i'm gonna call that as a win for five setups today all that buzzing that's all the guys taking off we are done i'm trying to find my keys where did i put my keys uh, don't know where my keys at I'm supposed to go home but if i can't find my keys dang well, guys, that kind of shows you what kind of day it's been. It's been crazy. <laughs> we got a lot done, though. We did. Oh, found my keys. Here we go. 
right next to my monster. Um, it's been crazy. We got a lot done today. Uh, we were able to knock out tons of setups. So very, very happy and grateful in the progress on that. As far as everything else, uh, we were just discussing our days that we're going to be closed for Thanksgiving. So uh, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, we'll be here for a half day. And then Thanksgiving obviously will be closed. Then that Friday will be closed. Then we'll reopen that following Monday. So just so you guys know, but thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. We'll see you guys next time. Tell on the track. Hop in the whip and I hit these switches. See that chrome suspension. Look at the car, you know who did it. I don't have to mention. They know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos. Custom work come from Hoppos, Hoppos, Hoppos. I'm, I'm Rob Taylor, 504. For anybody that gotta know. Alex stay with fresh content and he keep it coming like a slideshow. Never cut corners far as I know, but he cut metal with his eyes.